Hello children, hope you all are doing fine and looking after yourselves. This week I learned to make things with clay. Look here, I made a small dish out of clay and painted it. Now I'm going to use it to store my erasers so that I don't lose them again. Don't forget to press the like button, the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get to know when I upload the next story. Today's story is a very old and famous fairy tale but with a little twist to it. So let us listen to the story Three Little Pigs. Oink, oink. Once upon a time, there were three brothers who were pigs. Rolu, Golu and Tolu were their names. Rolu, Golu and Tolu were very sweet and loving. They never fought with anyone. One day, when they were playing, they saw a bird making a nest. They stopped to watch her and asked, Hey bird! What are you doing? The bird replied, I am making a nest, a home to live in. It will protect me from cold, from heat, from rain and from wild animals. Oh, can we also come and stay in your house? <laughs> My nest is so small, you won't fit into it. You need to make a bigger house for yourself. But we don't know how to make a house. What is a house made of? Hmm, well, you have three options. You can make a house of hay, of wood or of bricks. To make a house of hay is very easy and quick. You see, hay is a, the leftover part of plants. It is very light, so a house made of hay can break easily. To make a house of wood is also quick and easy. Wood you can get from the trees. It is stronger than hay. And to make a house of bricks is a little difficult. It takes longer and a lot of hard work to make a house with bricks. They are so heavy, so the house that is made with bricks is strong and sturdy. Rolu was the first one to choose. He said, Golu bro, Tolu bro, I will make my house with hay. It is easy and quick. I can't work so hard. Golu said, I will make my house with wood. It is stronger than hay and easy and quick to make. Tolu was the wisest of all. He said, I choose to make my house with bricks so that it is strong and sturdy. So the three pigs got on to work at a fast speed building their new homes. Soon the houses were ready and Rolu Golu and Tolu started living in their new comfortable homes. One day, Rolu heard a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Oh, I am your friend, your neighbor, the wolf. Just came to say a hi. Can you open the door for me? Open the door to a wolf? Never will I let you in. I swear by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will never let you in. I will never let you in. If you don't let me in, I will huff. I will puff. And I will blow your house down. 
and down came the house of hay broken apart into pieces under which lay rolu scared and frightened murmuring to himself where should i go what will i do this wolf is going to eat me and very quietly he fled straight to tolu's house the wolf looked for rolu under the hay near the plants and everywhere around but he couldn't find rolu anywhere a little angry finally the wolf went away from there next day the wolf went to golu's house and knocked knock 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 who is it golu asked oh i am your friend your neighbor just came to say a hi to you can you please open the door open the door to a wolf never will i let you in i swear by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you in i will never let you in if you don't let me in i will huff i will puff and i will blow your house down and down came the house of wood broken apart into pieces under which lay golu scared and frightened murmuring to himself oh this wolf is going to eat me where should i go what should i do and he fled straight to tolu's house quietly very quietly the wolf looked for golu under the wood pieces in the plants and everywhere around but he couldn't find golu anywhere so a little annoyed and angry he went back home the three big brothers now started living together in tolu's house golu and rolu were so scared that all day they kept crying <gasps> Tolu the wolf is going to come again tomorrow he will eat us up where will we go now <laughs> so tolu said shh quiet both of you i have a plan go and get a hammer some iron rods and nails so the three brothers kept awake and worked all night Can you guess what were they doing? Even I don't know what were they up to. So the next day the wolf came to Tolu's house and knocked at the door. Knock knock knock. Tolu said, "Who is it?" "Oh, I am your friend. Your neighbor, the wolf, just came to say a hi. Can you open the door, please?" Tolu said, "Hmm, open the door to a wolf. No, never will I let you in. I swear by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will never let you in. I will never let you in." The wolf said, "If you don't open the door, I will huff. I will puff." and i will blow your house down <gasps> the house made with bricks stood strong and sturdy it didn't break the wolf tried to open the windows but the pigs had bolted them fast very carefully so the only place to enter the house for the wolf was through the chimney children in olden days such chimneys were provided in all the houses 
these were used to direct the smoke out of the house and these days we use exhaust fans and electric chimneys yes okay back to the story so the wolf climbed up to the chimney and peeped into the house through it and what did he see he saw not one not two but three pigs living in that house mm the wolf's mouth watered and he said mm, i'm going to have a big feast today saying this he jumped down into the house through that chimney the wolf fell into the house with a big thud when he opened to his eyes he realized that he was trapped in a cage he was shocked <gasps> and the pigs were so proud of themselves to have played such a smart trick to trap the wolf the wolf cried ooh, ooh, let me go free me from here tolu said hey wolf we will let you go but only on one condition if you promise us to never trouble us again the wolf promised to never ever come to the pigs again the three pig brothers pushed the cage out of their house and opened the door of the cage for the wolf to go the wolf ran into the woods into the forest and never came back again to the to trouble the pigs the pigs lived together in the same brick house together happily ever after so children did you like the story yes okay two questions for you go and see in the kitchen what do you use to direct the smoke out an exhaust fan or an electric chimney and the second question that you have to ask your mama and papa that what is your house made of hay wood or bricks i will wait for your replies in the comment section bye lots of love till the next story